Hey everybody, how you doing? It's been a long while since I have done something crazy. And today I'm going to drink good old Sioux City Sarsaparilla. And um, I may be wrong on the date, but please let me know. Uh, we have on the bottom here. We can see that all. It says uh, 15, and then it has uh, 89 on it. 89's over here, the 15's here. So I looked it up, and uh, I've seen other, like another bottle says 88, and they said it might be from 1988. So I'm guessing this could be from 1989, which is 34 years old. Not old as me. But, yeah. So, the great thing is, I'm actually from Iowa. My hometown is actually uh, an hour and a half away from Sioux City. I've been to Sioux City plenty of times. But, yeah. Um, now, this isn't like the actual sarsaparilla that they had in the 1960s, from what I've understood. But, I bought this at a thrift shop that has antiques so I'm gonna consume this this is not the oldest thing I've drank but you know what I'm gonna pop it open and oh it smells good maybe I don't know it's got a different smell I should say it's something that I be okay with smelling, I suppose. Embrace the smell. Okay, so there wasn't much of a lift, uh, like carbonation coming out. I just heard like a, and that's about it. So, all right, guys. I will drink the whole thing. If I die before you, well, then I won't be able to put it on YouTube, so. Here we go. Oh yeah, that you know. <laughs> oh, that that little taste. Kid you not. Kid you not. This is like it tastes like water. It's water with a weird stench to it. weird it's like obviously old but weird yeah this is like it just it, it literally tastes like uh not it doesn't taste like water it's like in like an old stench literally an old stench but then add water to it literally kid you not I didn't shake it up at all. Maybe maybe I should. <laughs> okay, Daniel, after the fact. We'll shake it up a little bit. Don't want it to get out of the bottle there. All right. Here we go. I'm still alive, guys. Hmm. Same thing. A really, really bad stench. Adding water to the stench. I'm sorry, that's the... Ugh, what was that? <laughs> that, that was a, the, I guess the best thing I could think of. I don't know, it's weird. That one was a weird gulp. Really a weird gulp. That was way different. What the heck am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Like, literally. I don't know. Maybe I ask myself that every day. What the heck? <laughs> I love sarsaparillas and this doesn't taste anything like a sarsaparilla. Okay, <laughs> let me just put that out there.
None not taste anything like that. Ooh. Doesn't taste anything like this. <laughs> ha! Doesn't taste anything. It tastes like the smell of old, okay? <laughs> old clothes or something, I don't know. Whew! <laughs> mm. That's all, folks. That's all, folks. <laughs> so, you're not going to believe how much I paid for this bottle. Um, if you're watching this, uh, you know who you are. Out of Oakhurst, California, some thrift store. Don't know your name, sorry. <laughs> but, yeah. It's off the 41 Highway. Bought it for five bucks. They looked up how old it was. They had the app. I tried to do that. It didn't really work too well. So, I'm thinking it's from 1989. Uh, the Pepsi, if you watch the Pepsi one, I, honestly, it's been a while. Maybe that tastes like poison, I don't remember, but... Oh, excuse me, something's coming up. <laughs> I'm burping, sorry. Um, but, no, I don't know. Um, this could probably taste better. Uh, maybe the other one tastes like poison, it was like 37 years old. Um, but it's also a Pepsi too, so um, don't get me wrong. I, I take Pepsi over Coca-Cola any day. I think the taste better, a little bit better. I can't stand Coca-Cola, but yeah, that I love root beer. I'm a root beer guy. This does not taste anything like root beer or sarsaparilla or anything. It's 34 years old or older or maybe a little under. I don't know, but if you like this video, put a thumbs up. If you don't, put a thumbs down. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Greatly appreciate it. Love to get to know you guys. If there's anything else you want to see, let me know. Actually, hold that thought. Coming soon. You ready? I will. Coming soon. Are you ready? Are you sure? Are you positive? There's things I have in this house that are super old. Now this isn't super old, but for a dairy product, it's not that bad of an old. We have never been open. Never been open. I've been waiting for my YouTube to come back. I had hope. So we have 100% grass-fed maple hill organic yogurt whole milk guys i don't know if you can read that date at all it says 12 19 2018 2018 well that'd be definitely that's definitely four years going on five years right not bad right I've talked to people, they say, oh, it's going to be black inside. Well, it could be, but I don't know if you can see, but it does still look like white to me. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, see? Actually, you can see. I don't know if you can see. I can see. But it's still it's still white inside. There, This is a gap. There's a gap. I can see that. That's pretty interesting. Now, if I do that, look. This is stuck. Whatever it is is stuck up here. But there's an empty hole right here. Yeah, it's it's a probably the water or whatever that you know how it gets in the yogurt. You ready for this one? Uh was it Chaobani? Did I say that right? I don't know. Um April twenty second, twenty eighteen, guys. So, this one is just a little bit older. Just hit the five-year mark. <laughs> I think, I don't remember. I think I bought it at Costco. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, it's yogurt. Uh, whole milk. Plain original. Greek yogurt. Um, yeah. Let's see if I can... I have no idea. No. 
Wow. I can feel it. Can you hear it? That thing is solid. I, I, it's like solid in there. <laughs> I don't know if that's black or not, but... Now, I know this video is just a tad bit longer, but... Has anyone watched these uh, videos of these this gentleman? I don't... Oh, man, I, I don't remember his name, but... He opens... I saw one, it had like 66 million views, and, um, <laughs> he was, he opened, um, I've never even heard of it before, but what, banana flakes or something, or, yeah, in a can, he opened it up and it was all black, and all he does is, you know, open things up and just, he sniffs them, and, and he puts it, and he just sees what, what it looks like and stuff. Well, there are some potatoes in that video. And he goes, wow, these, these potatoes actually still look good. <laughs> well, you got 66 million views just on opening this thing and putting it in the dish and just playing around with it. In my mind, I was like, dude, I wish I was there. I would definitely try those potatoes. Now, um, now, <laughs> no, I would have for sure tried the potatoes. Now, the, the I've never had a banana flake, whatever that thing is. But, just because it was black doesn't mean I want to try it. <laughs> um, I've tried things that taste just like poison and will just... I mean, I'll spit it out pretty quick. Uh, sometimes I don't spit it out and... Oh, sorry, motorcycle flying by. So, yeah, um... Yeah, there's a, uh, I, I'm, I'm one of those just guys that would just try it. I also have something else I believe in here, in here. Uh, oh, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who could forget? Oh, actually, I got a few things. Ricotta cheese. It says April 14th, 2018. That's. I don't know, but yeah, that's another thing. It's been in the fridge the whole time. Here's something else I'll be doing shortly. I don't know how old it is. It um, this is uh to thanks to the thrift store if you're watching. Um, also bought this for five dollars, an amazing deal. Uh, they told me they looked it up. They said it was like a hundred years old cool it's got a fish on it it's fish oil oh sorry oh, i mean cod liver oil about the same thing right uh mick kenson uh laboratories bridgeport uh connecticut but they were saying it's 100 years old i'm not for sure so i'll definitely look it up let me see if i can see that date here That's 414, whatever that is. 414. 14 and then 4 on the bottom. But the bottle was really cool looking. Now, this stuff you just take literally just a teaspoon or a tablespoon. No. <laughs> no, I probably shouldn't drink the whole bottle. Will I? No, probably not. But a half a bottle, maybe. <laughs> um, I don't know. It all depends. Depends on. Yeah, I gotta look it up and stuff. You know, just look up. You know, what's the max or what would happen? Or maybe you guys know. I don't know. But this is older, so this is coming soon as well. And uh, hold that thought. I do have something else that is a little older as well. And if you're the thrift store people watching, I'm glad you put this in a zippy bag because it did leak. Uh, it did kind of spill a little bit, but uh, it's old maple syrup. I bought it for $10. Uh, 
got the old cork on it and underneath it actually says it's hand decorated in 22 karat gold obviously that's plated guys but you know I'm sure it's worth something right and that this right here I will attempt to drink the whole thing um, I don't know how old it is it's probably definitely an oldie pure maple syrup uh, R Blown B L O U I N made in well oh, maybe that's that's where it's made I guess I don't know man oh I don't know they get that ten dollar sticker on it so I can't really see it all but has anyone ever seen this little guy before I don't want to flip it over it says made in the U S like I said with um but yeah pretty cool little deal that's uh the next few things I'll be doing uh might upload it tomorrow who knows the reason why I haven't uploaded it recently is because I don't want to do this and then I get sick and then I have to call a lot of work because I did something wrong so I figured I have a few days off I have a few days off so uh, I will attempt to um, drink or eat something tomorrow who knows later tonight you never know I don't know depends how crazy I get uh, so thank you for watching I hope you have a great day I hope this made you laugh um, if you enjoyed the video please do share it maybe we can crack up some other people so thank you